I have $50 and 30 minutes to find the best corals that I can at this convention and the challenge is I'm competing against someone else. Today I'm at the Florida Frag Swap and we're going to be competing in a challenge and I'm joined by Levi the Oddball Reefer. How's it going guys? Super excited today. Um, we're going to try to find a coral under 50 bucks. Uh, it could be one, it could be a couple, we'll see what happens. Uh, so we're going to go look around and see if we can find some nice corals. The rules are simple. We each have $50 and only 30 minutes to pick up the best corals that we can. So it was time to sync up our clocks and let the challenge begin. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. And we're going. Okay, so there's a lot of coral vendors here and my time has already started. 29.36. So we're looking for we only have $50 to spend, so we're looking for a nice coral. Right off the bat, I'm attracted to these guys right here, but they're over $185. Uh, that's way out of our budget. I see some Euphelia over there, $45. We're going to take a look. TRSC Aquatics is in the house. Liquid Dream Aquatics. Okay, so I see some hammer corals, $20 per or three for 50. That looks like a pretty good deal, but I kind of want something a little more exotic, but I may come back to these because that is a pretty good deal. I wonder how Levi started the challenge. Starting things off at Frost Corals here. Um, checking out these non-photosynthetic corals. We've got a lot of Diodegorgias here, um, different Tabastrias. These yellow ones are really unique. Might pick one of those, one of those up later today. I used to have one of those in my old NPS tank. But I am not doing one of those for the challenge. We're gonna try to find something super unique. So we're gonna take a look around, keep looking, check out some new vendors, and go from there. We got Trash Panda Aquaculture here. More Dio de Gorgias, Rock Nams. It's like a splatter hammer and it's getting like gold stems. Super unique. Lots of Recordia, beautiful torches. Zoas. Okay, so 24 minutes left on the clock and I see a whole bunch of zoanthid corals for five for a hundred and that is usually the deal that you see at these kind of events five for a hundred which 20 25 dollars of frag that is within the budget but i need to look at more booths i need to look at more corals the show is definitely starting to heat up and more and more people are visiting the booths making it a little bit more crowded to get in to see these vendors so i made my way back over to liquid dreams aquatics thinking that i could pick up some of those hammer corals that were three for fifty but there were people over there buying corals and I didn't know how much time it would take me to see all the other vendors. So I had to leave the hammer corals here to see what other options I had. Take a look at Speed Reefer. I am competing in a challenge right now. We only have $50 to spend on corals. So we're, we're trying to look for like some budget friendly stuff. Um, but yeah, something maybe like beginner friendly. Um, I mean, I'm definitely gravitating towards the Euphelia, but I feel like they're probably pushing the budget what what are some of the prices well, you got if you're gonna do 50 i could get you one for 50. I mean, gotcha gotcha they're more than that but like uh i could do like this one right here that one right there for 50. okay all right i really do like that two heads 50 dollars. that is a great deal speed reefer really trying to hook it up here but i don't know if i can do that that's 50 dollars. that's my entire budget and then I ask about these zoanthids right here, and he says, of course, he, he can do that for $50 too. So, decisions. That's super cool, that's super nice of him, but I don't know if I can do that right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. I gotta keep moving. I got like 20 minutes left. Go ahead. PV Reefs. We check out some of their coral. I got some really high-end meaties. Lots of nice affiliate. Oh, look at that diaceris. That is super nice. Button scully. Struggling to find something. It's been challenging. I gotta make a decision soon though. I'm a Zoa guy. Check out these Zoas. Yeah, so really nice gold ones right there. Really as long as they don't, uh, that one's one, two, three, four, five. 100 bucks. 100 bucks? Okay. Those, I'll do them for, I'd say if you do both of them, I'll do it for 160. For both of them. 80 each. Keep your eyes out, keep looking. Check out this art though. Super nice. Can't not check out worldwide corals. So it looks like Levi has a lot of thinking to do here. There's so many options, so many different corals and vendors here at this event. 
I just can't wait to see what he gets. Coral Bergen Warehouse. So I'm actually in the middle of a challenge right now. I'm looking for corals. We're trying to spend $50 on corals. So what uh, price ranges do you have? You have $20 frags, anything? All the zoos are 20 bucks. Okay. Okay, that sounds perfect. $20 zoanthids. I see what looks like daisy cutter zoas, some rasta zoas, uh, looks like fruit loop zoas. There's so many different names for zoanthid corals, but I don't know if zoanthids alone are going to win this thing. And what are the prices for the euphelia over there? $30 for the single hoods, $50 for the doubles. Oh, okay. Uh, $40 ahead for the splatter, uh, $60 for the pink guy. $40 for the splatter. Now that could work, $40 for a splatter hammer coral. Now that'll only leave me with $10, so I'm not sure what I could get for that. So I decided to keep on looking. There's still plenty of booths and tables to look at. All right, so here's Luis Reef. <laughs> Hello, how are you? The Euphelia definitely catch my attention. What are some of the prices on these guys? The Euphelia starts from 100 to 200. Okay, all right, so that's not gonna do the challenge. What else do we have here? We got some uh, Anything here is 25 a piece. 25, okay. To uh, five for 100. Okay, very cool, so those these could work. 35 a piece or four for 100. 35 or four for 100. Anything in here is between 50 to 100. A little overwhelmed with all of the numbers, all of the prices for these corals. So many great looking corals at this booth, but I just didn't know what to do. I was trying to calculate quick math in my head. So if, if you were competing in a challenge with someone else to spend $50, would you go for quantity or quality? What do you think would win it? If you were doing a $50 challenge. Like who quality, gets the best? Quality or, or quantity? Yeah. It depends on the quantity. Depends on the item you're buying. True, okay. So if it's all Zoas, I'll probably go with quantity. Okay. If you're going for, if you're looking at it long term where it's going to be real pretty and like grow to something that you might be able to make some money down the road, yeah. I'll go with quality. Quality, okay. But always, 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 it's the quality of the coral no matter what. Right. I don't know if he's going to buy like two corals with $50. Or one big piece, you know. So it's like, how do I win the competition? We got gator coral here. Let's check out some stuff that he has. Super nice frogs. Twenty-five for the branching cypastria. That's that. Twenty-five the for yeah. the branching. I'll take that guy right there. Okay. Halfway to the goal of 50. Check out that branch inside fast train. Thank no you. Problem. All right, let me let me check the uh, let me check the clock here. 13 minutes left. 13 minutes left. I think I have an idea of what I want to get. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Look at this guy. We ran into him. You uh, you finding any good stuff? Got a branch in the side for 25. Oh, nice. Okay, all right. Okay, so he's picked up a branching cypastria, so for 25. So I kind of got a sneak peek into what he's doing. And so it looks like he's going for quality, something uh, unique and different. So I'm going to head back to uh, Coral Bargain Warehouse. I think that's where I need to go. Now on the way back to Coral Bargain Warehouse, I did see King Coral and had to put on the orange filter sunglasses for this. Look at the color of, on this eye candy. Look at all the corals in this. There's some insane corals here from King Coral. Love everything in here. I was quickly able to look at what they had and it just looks like fire, but I have to stay on mission. But when I got to the booth, it was jam packed. I'm not even sure how much time I have left right now, but time is definitely running out. But I was patient, I waited my turn. All right, so I think, I, I think I'm gonna have to do the splatter for 40. Okay. So. All right, you wanna do the, your far right? Or actually there's three there, right? I guess I'll go with, I'll go with the middle one. You wanna go with the middle one? Yeah, we'll go with the middle guy. 
awesome. He got it bagged up. I'm super excited about this. I scored a splatter hammer coral. It, it looks so awesome. I can't wait to get it in the tank at home. Very cool, thank you. Saltwater Swain, we're gonna check out what he has. These mushrooms and Monty's. Look at St. Thomas up there, super bright. Scarnies. Beautiful Dioceros, look at that. A Monty. These Monty's are really cool. Living Reef Orlando. And check out, look at these guys. Lots of beautiful hammers, <laughs> clove polyps, garnies, beautiful corals, $25. So I think this is where we're going to have to make our decision. Lots of super nice zoas, and as you guys know, I do like my zoas, so probably make a decision here. So many zoas, look at all these gorgeous zoanthids. Look at all these zoas, guys. Wow. I have some white walkers. Okay, those are pretty. Check out those. Hmm. Orange rings, let's see. Baby Yodas. I'm gonna go ahead and take this zoa right here. Sure. This guy? Yep. Sweet. Package secured. So we officially hit the $50 mark. Um, I got a Zoa, and then we got the Branching Cyphastria. There's my wife, Elizabeth. Um, yeah, Branching Cyphastria and a really cool Zoa. I just showed you guys a Zoa. We'll see if that wins. Okay, after picking up the hammer, I checked the time and I only have five and a half minutes left. This is getting serious. All right, so I need $5 frags, $5 frags. So I see five for a hundred everywhere. 25 each or five for a hundred over here. So 40 and 80. I'm gonna find $5. It's gotta be over here. Five for a hundred. I don't know if I'm gonna get another one. So all I'm seeing is five for 100, no $5 frags, not even $10 frags, nothing. And then when I thought all hope was lost, I saw the Reef Aquaculture Specialist and they had $15 zoanthids. So I had an idea. One minute left. So question for you, I'm doing a challenge right now where I can only spend $50 and I've spent 40 of it. Is there any ZOA that you could Sell me for 10. Would you be able to do that? Help me out? I got like one minute left in the challenge. Oh. Any of those I do more. Any of those? Yeah. Like the uh any those. Oh, any of these here? Um Yeah, I do your favorite, so all right. anyone. Cool, let's go the ones with the green ones right there. Yes. Yes. Sure. Perfect. Wow, coming through in the last 30 seconds. Thank you so much, Reef Aquaculture Specialist. I'll definitely leave the links in the description below for you guys to check them out. But I scored some zoanthids. Let's go find Levi and put everything together. So the time is up. We just finished, so I just gotta walk around. Try to find, try to find them. And we're gonna compare corals and then we're gonna show you guys again what we got and we'll go from there all right so i got a zoa from beautiful corals uh, it was like green you guys will see in the video but it was really nice green gold and like blue super unique never seen it before 
And then we got this branching cyphastria from Gator Coral. Uh, super unique. You don't see these too often, and it was a steal for 25, so I couldn't help myself. So there's my 50 bucks right there. So the challenge was more difficult than I thought, but I came away with a splatter hammer coral. So this guy was forty dollars. And then I frantically ran around trying to spend my last ten dollars and I picked up uh, this small little colony of zoanthids. So we'll get them acclimated in the tanks and everything and then you guys let us know who the winner is. Leave your votes in the comments for the Coral Reef Talk or Oddball Reefer. Let us know who you think won this challenge and check out this next video if you love your reef aquarium and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.